Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a clinical training specialist with AMBU. I wanted to send you this short video because unfortunately we cannot be on site with you today and we still really want to make sure you have all of the tools necessary to succeed. Although I would still recommend a full in-service, this will give you the basics to just get going and start treating your patients. At AMBU, we have two types of single-use rhinolaryngoscopes that offer guaranteed sterility. First, we have our rhinolaryngo interventional. This is 35 centimeters in length, a 5.0 outer diameter, and a 2.2 working channel. We have suction capability, suction button to apply suction, thumb lever to control the distal tip, and working channel access at the top. With this scope, I'm seeing this used a lot with biopsies and any foreign body removal, airway obstruction type of situations. Next, we have our rhinolaryngo slim. This is 30 centimeters in length with a 3.0 outer diameter. Just for reference, this would fit down a size four ET tube. Working our way up, we have a thumb lever again that will control the distal tip. No suction, no working channel on this. This is really just for your quick looks. Our monitor is pretty simple. It's a plug and play system. So to turn this on, we press the button at the top. We get this blue loading screen. This takes about a minute to load up, so you can either wait that minute or you can go ahead and plug a scope in. Each of our scopes has a blue arrow. So whether it's the interventional or the slim, blue arrow to blue arrow, and we can have an immediate view. So once our monitor loads up, we have picture and video capability, touch screen, as long as this is red, it's recording. To take stills, we press this top button. To stop recording, we press our button at the bottom. Battery indicator at the bottom. Double tap the screen to expand your image. Every time we plug in a new scope and take a picture, it creates a unique patient folder. For further file management instructions, please contact your clinical specialist or your local representative, and we would be happy to walk you through that. At the end of the procedure, you unplug your scope, double click the top to turn this off. Your entire scope gets tossed in the trash or red bins. Your monitor gets wiped down and you're ready for your next patient.